hello guys welcome to Ike in dance tutorial um this video is meant to teach you how you can manipulate any practical in optics precisely refraction using rectangular and triangular prisms at the end of this video you can analyze any practicals in prisms without going through the stressful and long processes of using pins and ray boxes you will find this very helpful just click subscribe and say goodbye to failure in physics practical thank you now let's go into the main work um i'll begin by defining refraction refraction means or it can be defined as um the bending depending of a light ray right ray as it crosses the boundary excuse me the boundary between two media of different densities now let our boundaries be a and um rectangular prism for now she will have sorry let um the media be a and rectangular prism to so have a and rectangular prisms now if that is the case we can have something like this we can have something like this maybe what you just have to do is um okay sorry have something like this So, if this is our prism right now, then we we'll have a normal to the prism. You know, the normal is always at 90 degrees. So, okay, let's better use our set square. That's why we we'll have a set square. You know, this is a set square, it measures um, 90 degrees here, as you can see. So, if that is the case, um, let's use a shorter one. That is the case. Our normal can be here. As you can see our normal is here then draw this down now if this is the normal you're going to see you're going to have um, a light ray that way meets this very box so this light ray maybe you know okay is going to be at an angle to the boundary so it's let's call that angle 60 degrees so if this is 60 degrees this is 60 degrees then we we'll have um a light ray moving this way so this is our light ray it enters here and it should be moving in this direction you know why because light travels on a straight line but due to refraction you find out that this very light ray is going to bend so you will see it here now in this very place so at this point you can now draw a normal to it so that normal is going to be like this it's going to be something like this so now once this happens once you've drawn this then you find out that the light ray continues parallel to the way it came you see this is parallel to this you understand so if that is the case you have the light ray continuing in this part so at this juncture we can now see that this is um this very ray here okay it's moving this way this way and this way so this very ray here this is called um the emergent ray this is called the refracted ray and this is called 
the incident tree the incident tree now there is an angle here called um, angle of refraction and there is another angle here called angle of incidence now if that is the case okay we have e here called um emergent angle so there could be series of questions um and practical questions that will be used to verify the um some snes law and that is the law of refraction one of the laws of refraction that is snes law so in this very tutorial and in this um in our work to come we are going to be um, dealing with different practicals so different question types that actually you can just use mathematics and then analyze at the end you just get your table of values and plot your graph without going through stressful processes and you get your accurate answers very very okay and very very important so click to the next video and see what i'm talking about it's really going to be fun and most of you have exams to write on this so just make sure you understand every single thing Thank you very much.